Welcome back, Blade Lovers. This old sword with you. We have a new Tucson, yet another new <clears throat> design from the design mind of a Wong Designs. And I always, always hesitate to pronounce his first name. Uh, Dezien, Dexien, something similar to that. Wong. So I'm just going to call it Wong Designs. Um, and this comes on the heels of several others he's done recently. It's a very interesting Persian designed blade. And oh yes, by the way, it has the grandiose name of TS336. 336. What's so interesting about this knife is that it combines features of three different style knives as far as I can see. It is part tanto, part reverse curve, and part Persian <laughs> with that upswept point. How he managed to get all three into one is beyond my comprehension, but it is a beautiful hollow grind in here. We have a flat grind out at the uh, secondary grind beautiful swedge and a point that's just about even with the top of the frame of the handle thumb studs as you can see a, a very heavily uh, stonewashed titanium handle with very interesting sculpted brown uh, I'm going to call it canvas micarta overlays they're kind of uh, stuck on top of the frame there and a really nice titanium clip it also is before I forget to mention it running on internal stop pins and I'm not sure I'm able to show that because they're tightly packed in there we get the light to the right brightness so as you can see if I can get it there are again it's good there they are moving see I'm moving okay gotta trust me on that <laughs> it runs on a flipper tab and double thumb studs and the double thumb studs stand up pretty proud of the both the blade obviously and the handle Got a little dished in area there in the uh, texturing. And uh, you can fire it pretty easily. Pretty strong detent on this one. I wasn't able to fail it. Let's see if I can now. Yep. It just made it out there. Yep. So uh, no real finger choil there. We got more of a sharpening choil. But, uh, you know, you can trigger it there with your finger if you have to. But just look at that amazing blade. Branding on the right side, Wong Design. And the steel, yes, by the way, is Sandvik 14C28N. And there is your, if I can get the reflections right, there we go, TS338. 336. The numbers are going to drive me nuts. TS336. Um, there's another newer one out that is like uh, 386 or something like that, and I'll be reviewing that one very soon as well. Got a uh, almost a jimped um, backspacer that turns into a lanyard hole. Very short backspacer, mostly open construction. And I believe it is weight relieved inside. We're going to need to dig for the flashlight again. Uh, not on that side. Let's see if it is on this side. Nope, flat. So we'll be checking the weight out in a moment. But great action on bearings. Very smooth. With most Tucson's, they come through not drop shut. They come through a little tight, and all you really need to do is on the right side there, give that a little adjustment. Uh, the left side is fixed. I believe that's got a D shape inside that holds it in place although I have not disassembled this yet 
fires well no matter what you choose I'm not going to try reverse finger flicking this although I'm sure it's hey, I did it you know got a grandstand a little in front of the camera right <laughs> And we got some nice, a very short run of jimping there, but it definitely keeps your thumb from slipping and a little bit of a swale. And look how subtle that reverse curve, that inverse curve is on the, uh, the main grind and a belly on the secondary grind. Just crazy good <laughs> design. Okay, so let's get the tape measure out, back out a little bit more and see how long this beast is it's eight and a half inches overall and i'm going to call it three and three quarter inch blade is very close cutting edge just shy of that as far as uh, other dimensions go let's see what we're set to here we're on millimeters so let's do the blade stock I don't know why I like to do the blade stock in millimeters. I just do. Not dealing with fractions. 3.8 millimeters, so pretty hefty blade stock. And the handle is going to be fairly wide at 0 0.67. Finally, let's put it on the scale. Let's see if it needs to go on a diet. It's 4.866, so 4.87 ounces we'll round that up to. Not too bad because it's, uh, I would call it a medium large knife, maybe even a large knife. Um, you can feel it's got some heft to it since they didn't do any weight relieving in the handle, but the handle is titanium, with uh, so the titanium and aluminum being lighter metals than steels. And we got a pretty thick blade. So, looking at an earlier model by Wong, this is the TS-159, also a Persian-style blade. And we also have one that preceded that. Strangely enough, it's got a higher number than the 159. It's the 236. And I brought these out because, look, they're all Persian-inspired blades with that trailing point. This one, by the way, the uh, 236. And notice that these earlier ones are not labeled with the uh, TS number. They just started doing that recently, but uh, this one is unusual because it's a frame lock. Uh, it's a uh, liner lock, excuse me, but all the liner material is titanium and not steel. And there's a hardened steel insert in there, I believe. Don't want to lie to you. Yeah, no. Nope. Yes, no, no, yes, yes, there it is. Oh, got to get it in the camera, don't I? Right in there is a uh, pretty large piece of steel plate attached to the titanium. So you get that wear resistance of the steel against the steel instead of titanium against the steel. And um, this one's a nice carbon fiber for the design. And on the um, TS-159, this is just a straight out steel liner lock. Very nice, very smooth. They all are. But that's pretty radical as far as Persians go. Tanto Persian reverse curve. So um, that is the 336 check again. This is nice that they conveniently put the numbers on the blade. What would be nice is if they named them all, but what I find in Tucson collector circles is that there are sort of uh, names that get ascribed to them by either the uh, designer or Tucson 
usually the designer, um, that aren't really broadcast, aren't really promoted, aren't really uh, advertised. But just look at the nice, real interesting sculpting on top of a real interesting brown micarta handle material and a really nice stone wash contrasting the uh, belt satin on the blade it goes in two directions longitudinally on the flat and vertically on that grind and on the secondary bevel comes through pretty sharp a little bit of a challenge to sharpen although you can strop that pretty easily on something like a work sharp field sharpener which I find has a nice thin uh, stropping portion to it. Great sharpener by the way. There you can see the edge very prominent. Good thickness out to the point. And I'm noticing that no that's uh, satin. So we've got a satin on the spine of the blade as well. And no it does not rest on the thumb studs although they come close. It does rest on those internal stop pins and the locking bar. Beautiful, beautiful knife. And uh, at White Mountain Knives, as of this very moment, in this date, these are still in stock. He doesn't get a lot of them on each model. But 90 bucks on this, less 10% discount if you use my discount code, Old Sword. So... That'll knock about nine bucks off that, so you're talking uh, much closer to 80 bucks for this beautiful beast of uh, interesting design by Wong Designs. So don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. I'll be back with you soon with something new. Be well.